stop. We shouldn't go any further. It's too dangerous. You may not be able to see it, but there's a distortion up ahead. And all four speed to watch the trail. Let's lead straight to it. It looks like he headed for the distortion in search of a way out after he fell into the interdimensional space. Cranimon, wait, it's not safe. Even we can't interface with that distortion. You won't make it back. Ugh. So you want to give up? We've done as much as we can. Don't be such a coward. We knew the risks when we started. It's my mission to save all force Vidramon. Thank you for helping me get this far. I'll finish this by myself. What are you doing, human? Stand aside. That might work on a human, but not on me. I told you before, I'll show no mercy to anyone who gets in my way. Seems that our temporary helper has skills. So you mean to interfere? Do you really not understand why he's trying to stop you? Then understand why I'm helping him, because I don't want to lose any more comrades. There's only one thing I need to know. If you try to stop me, this alliance is over. Feel the true power of my claim Soleil. Okay, so does that mean Alphamon's on my side? Oh yeah it does, that's a powerful ally. Oh, you're attacking Elfmon already, jeez. Deca has a new form as well. I don't really need any any special things. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at a Moop's special move description. It doesn't seem as good as I thought it was. Yeah, you just keep attacking Elfmon. I don't need to revive or heal that one, so uh, whatever you need to do. Let's see, nullifies damage received to all allies until next turn and prevents any abnormal statuses. Oh, does that mean, like, my next turn in general? I thought it meant until Moop's next turn, so I, I was assuming I'd be invincible for, like, until their next turn. So it seems like it's just if an enemy is following Moop, I can nullify anything that happens. I guess let's just do an attack. Let's just do a special. It's a nice special. Oh, okay, I guess uh, let's do Dekka's new move. Oh, yeah, teamed up with Alpha Man. Yep, that was River of Power, alright. No mistaking it. Cranimon, you don't. I think I had a Cranimon earlier. Or was it a different Royal Knight that I just forgot about? But uh, feel free to do your special move at any time. I, I'm always happy to see it. Why don't we put everyone's attack up? Get this over with a little quicker. Now let's see if Moop's move actually works. Alright, it's working totally this time. Oh, and he lost balance. Oh, I, it seems like it's until that Digimon's next turn. Because when it when it becomes Sao's turn again, he lost that, that golden shield. And I think that golden shield is what's keep, like keeping all the damage off. I guess that is pretty good then. Anyway, Sao's is currently a puppet mon, so let's see their stuff. That was boring. No, oh, we have uh, two of the Dark Masters in the team right now. That didn't even occur to me. Ugh, no. Well done. I wish we could celebrate, but we don't have as much time as I thought. Hmm? The digital wave was very weak. We only had enough time to make a temporary path before it disappeared. I'll bring him. You get to the entrance.
It looks like everyone's alright. Why did you stop me? We were almost there. Even if it meant risking my life, I might have been able to find where he is. His fate is out of our hands now. It's up to him from now on. Surely you understand that. I do. I understand that. And that we wouldn't have been able to save him if we'd gone any farther. And that if you hadn't had stopped me, I wouldn't have made it back. But... I know all that, but I'm going to lose it if I stay here any longer. Alphamon. And you, human child. Just stay away from me. Huh. There he goes. Allow me to thank you. And I'm grateful to you for saving my comrade. Don't think too badly of him. Royal Knights are simply obeying King Drusil, the host computer. However, sometimes King Drusil's voice becomes distorted by noise. This causes them to behave unusually. We may not have much time left for our rational thought. Oh, I'm sorry. I was speaking to myself. There's nothing I can do for all four Svidramon now. There's no point staying here any longer. I too will take my leave. If we meet again, I'll treat you to some amazing coffee. I hope all goes well for you. Hmm. What a strange Digimon. You know how Alphamon gets even stranger? In fucking Digimon Adventure Try. With the with terrible plot development in no fucking sense. I want to forgive him, but I can't. Why? Why do I feel this way about humans? Ah. It is King Drusil's will that humans be wiped out. All humans must be destroyed, along with this world. There's no need to hesitate. I should be loyal to King Drusil. I should harbor no doubts. Oh no, Craniumon. Why gotta be like that? You chased the Digimon away. I just heard from outside that it was seen flying away. Ah, when I say outside, I mean the police. They're monitoring the Digimon because of the potential danger to the surrounding area. I heard another huge Digimon flew over and you fought both of them. Are you okay? You're amazing. It was too much for the police, but you got the job done. Thank you so much. By the way, I just received word that we're moving to the old city hall tomorrow. It's safe there, right? That's a good that's good to hear. I'll be sure to contact you again if there's anything else. <laughs> what on earth will become of this city? You tell me, Jimmy Ken. I wonder if they're brothers. Oh, I guess I have some uh some memories that haven't been analyzed yet. Why don't we go ahead and do this before we move on? It's an account meant to record a certain event for posterity. On the day it happened, I headed to the agency as usual. Here I shall refer to the proprietress simply as Q. Q asked me to be her assistant, and I had just been to a certain cafe to buy her the usual. When I got back, Q gleefully took it from me and promptly disappeared into the lab. Or at least that's what I call it. That is when I started to imagine the horrors that were about to take place there. Q has a bad habit. He was attempting to transform the pleasant aromatic substance I had just bought into a terrifying beverage of mass destruction. As my curiosity got the better of me, I decided to peek into the lab. The lab was strictly off limits. But it may have cost me my life if I did not find out exactly what was going on. I had no choice. I opened the door a couple of inches and saw Q rushing back and forth. What I saw made me gasp. There was a gigantic tuna hanging from the ceiling by a rope. The Q was holding a sharp knife, ready to cut it to pieces. Baffled at what I was witnessing, I overheard Q gleefully talking to herself. My assistant's been working so hard lately. I need to make him an extra nutritious cup of coffee. They say tuna's rich in vitamin B5 and B6. And I heard the eyeballs are great brain food. They definitely have to go in. Hmm, but they're too big for a coffee cup. I'll just have to put them in a blender. It also needs lots of bananas and other fruits to provide glucose. And I'll add some tapioca for texture. 
<laughs> this is going to be amazing. With a big smile on her face, she put all the chopped ingredients into the blender and pressed the button. Bzz, bzz, bzz. The ingredients were ground into an amorphous goo that gave off a foul stench. Q was grinning all the while as the ooze splattered the kitchen. I fell to my knees, shaking at the prospect of the terrible experience I would soon be subjected to. After all, the beverage of mass destruction that Q was in the process of concocting could not be meant for anyone else. I was sure to be its intended target. I'm using my last moments to write this account. I hear Q calling me. My time has come. By the time you read this, I may be no more. I just want someone, anyone, to read this one day. And I hope that whoever does will do everything in their power to ensure that the same fate does not befall any more poor, unfortunate souls. I hope that this record does not end up lost in a mountain of data. This, this, that is my final wish. The record ends here. I wonder if that was uh, the previous Cyber Sleuth before uh, a particularly bad bout of uh, Kermie's coffee. All right, let's do this one now. <clears throat> oh, it's the Ephemeral Hummingbird Fool. Ephemeral Hummingbird, you rock my world. Like the desert, the city night freezes your love. Chorus, ice point under. Come to me if you feel cold. Don't hold out on me, baby. My burning passion will keep you warm. My burning soul. One night without you is living hell, just like hell. But heaven is, but hell is heaven to a demon. It suits me just fine. No kidding, I'm not joking now. Ha 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 ha. I swear to your bewitching eyes forever, you're the only one I love, my heart is crazy for you. Swear to my mad voice together, who's the one you love? I'm gonna sweep you off your feet tonight. Oh bird, you're bad. Femoral sweet hummingbird, rock my world, bewitch me with your demon eyes, so bad, my ballad. Sweet ephemeral hummingbird, hear my song and get high on my demon voice, baby. All right, well, there you have it. Though That's the lyrics. Those are the lyrics to his song. I'm pretty sure when I did the LP of Cyber Sleuth, I was like, man, I'd like to hear that whole song. And although I didn't quite hear it, at, at least I got to read it. Oh, whoops. I was told to go talk to Mary for whatever's next. There's no more important cases. I was just in the Digilab, too. And then I came out, and it's like, I should talk to Mary. Like, I was just friggin' there. There's a rumor going around in Kaburo about your friend. You must be concerned about him after what happened. You should hear it for yourself. All right, that sounds like story progression. Let's go progress that story, huh? I heard a hacker named Sonata was behind the big power outage. It's scary to think that there's a wanted criminal on the loose. I hope they catch him soon. Uh huh? Arata's a wanted criminal? It's no good. He's not answering. I hope he's okay. So that probably means there's a case now. Okay. Let's grab one of these while we're here. Kokabu Terimon. That's that that weird short one. I don't really like that one. Oh, look, no name on. Remember the throughout this entire LP, I've been like, this no name on. What's the, who's this no name on? What's this guy all about? And it was Arata all along. You know, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that he was important. I kept talking about it. And look at this. All along, I knew. I'm the hacker from Rapongi, remember? I sort of need your help again. I'll be waiting near the arcade in Akihabara. Yeah, I want to help out my boy, Arata. He's been there all along. The hacker helping Rapongi? No way. I'll go look in Akihabara. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I didn't even see him hiding there. He should be around here somewhere. Hey. Over here. Expected voice. I feel I don't think the character expected it, but I absolutely expected it to be Sonata. I expected it all along. Ugh. Don't draw attention to yourself. Just calmly walk into the alley. Sorry about the location. Can't really be seen in public right now. 
<laughs> Don't act so surprised. I'm sure you've seen the news. I've been placed on the wanted list because of the screw up with the Tokyo blackout you helped with. You must be pretty excited seeing a real live outlaw in the flesh, but try not to make a scene. We'll be arrested on sight. Uh, don't look so worried. It's not your fault. It was all me. All because I wanted to protect my pride. Don't worry. I'm in trouble if you can't keep it together. After all, I called you out here for a case. I can count on you, can I? Yeah. Thanks. A lot's happened. There aren't many people I can turn to for help right now. I actually want you to go to a winnow with me. I need to keep a low profile right now. A friend from Jude said he'd let me hide at his place, but I can't get in contact with him. I don't know why, but I can't just go and ask around. That's why I need your help. My friend was in Ueno when I last made contact. Start by asking around there. By the way, did you find Ryuji? I see. Sorry I asked. Alright, well look, oh, Arata's already here. He beat us to it. You know, you wouldn't stand out so much if you weren't wearing such, like, brightly colored clothing. Like, I, I realize you pulled your hood up. But that almost makes you more bright and colorful. This is where he was when I last contact when I last contacted him. Ask around and see what you can find out. He's a hacker about our age. His name's Shingo. I'll hack into the CCTV cameras in the area and see if any of them caught him. Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright, let's ask around. Apparently I cannot walk over here. What a, a little boy. I heard screams coming from the museum just now. Could there be monsters there too? They don't scare me. I don't know the person you're looking for, but there was a boy investigating the strange monsters a little while ago. The museum is crawling with strange monsters. You better not go near it. They are more slithery. They are more slithery and gross than the other monsters that have been appearing in Tokyo recently. I wonder what they are. That sounds like eaters. Slithery and gross? That's gotta be eaters. So maybe his friend got eatered at the museum. Yeah, there's just an invisible wall there. It's there's like a there's like a little incline, like an inch of incline, which I guess is just too tall for me. Those slithery monsters must be I know, Arata, that's what I was saying. Did Shingo go, go to investigate them? Why would he do something so stupid? Arata left his mouth open there. It looked like he did it by accident. Oh, I saw something on the CCD TV camera footage. It's pretty grainy, so I can't be 100% sure, but it shows someone who looks like Shingo going into the museum. There's a good chance that's where he is. Yeah! But there's slithery eaters there! People reported seeing eaters and hearing screams at the museum. There's no time to lose. You can go now. I'll handle things from here. Uh huh? Erdo people said. The museum's a den of eaters and Digimon. You've done enough by collecting information on Shingo. I don't want to put you in harm's way. Hoodie always sees cases through to the very end. The very end? That stubbornness makes me think of Ryuji. Okay, but be careful. This is terrible. Barely any part of the museum is still unaffected by the digital shift. Look, over there. Shingo's digivice. It's been smashed. He must be around here somewhere. Let's find him. I came here before for a quest that wasn't very important. It was just kind of like a, you know, just a random nothing. But, uh, so I'm, I'm glad we came back because I remember last time I just took, I came up here, I took a left, and then that was it. I'm going to take another, I'm going to take that left again this time, just to be sure. Yeah, I came over here, and then in this area I fought that, uh, I think it was a Skull Greymon and a Koalamon. It just happened right away, I didn't even get a chance to look around. Now there's shit in my way, get this shit out of my way. And yeah, I didn't get a chance to get all the goodies and stuff. Ooh, a farm expansion plugin, that's good to have. Oh, 
Teldramon. More stuff. Oh, there's just a person here. Oh, is that them? Oh, I don't. I didn't even. Oh, I just went to left again. Shingo. Arata, you came for me. You're in pretty bad shape. What happened? I heard you say how you wanted to study the eaters. I thought I'd help you out. I investigated all the potential sightings. But then I actually ran into one and it came after me. I'm lucky to be alive. My device got smashed and I sprained my ankle. I thought I was a goner. <laughs> I've just ended up causing you even more trouble. I really screwed up. You idiot. You didn't need to do all that. You've already done more than enough for me. Can you stand? We need to go right now. Oh, not before getting eatered. Damn, they found us. You're up, TK. Destroy them and let's get out of here. <laughs>